guys, Miss Kelly here. Thank you for coming back to our channel. So my friends, today what we're gonna work on is a math subtraction problems, okay guys? So there's a couple of things that we're going to need here. You can use different items in your house as well. I'm using um, pom-poms as my objects, but you guys can definitely use Legos, cars, any type of toys that you may have in a large quantity like this. That way we can create our math problems and we can use these objects to learn and to really uh, visualize subtraction problems. I have a whiteboard here with me with a whiteboard um, erasable marker. You can definitely just use a pencil and a piece of paper at home. Um, you don't necessarily need the marker, but I do have it since I am in my classroom today. I also have a pair of dice, okay? And this is going to help me with the different uh, subtraction words or the subtraction problems, subtracting sentences that we're going to use. So let me show you how it works. We're gonna take our uh, dice first. We're going to go ahead and shake it on up. The numbers that you roll are going to be the numbers that you use for your subtraction problem. So for example, I rolled a three and I also rolled a two. So we're going to use subtraction three minus two in order to make this a fun project. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write it on my whiteboard nice and big for you toward the bottom. I'll turn it toward you once I'm done. So we're gonna set it up using our first number three minus two. And we're going to see using our objects how much this is going to equal. So the first number that I need to take my pom-poms for is the number three. So I'm gonna choose three pom-poms. And because we're using subtraction, we're going to use the three pom-poms that we have right here. We don't need to add any more. The addition of part of this will come in next week so that I can show you how to use addition using the pom-poms as well. Okay, guys? So first we're gonna start out with the number three, which is our solid, solid number. It matches our first number. And we're gonna go into minus, okay? Minus means that we're gonna take away. So three, take away two. So let me go ahead and take away two of my pom-poms. I'm gonna put them back in my pile. And how many am I left with? It looks like I'm left with one fuzzy pom-pom, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and write my answer. Three minus two would equal one. Okay, my friends. Let me go ahead and erase that out for you. Hopefully it erases okay, so that you can see. Okay, here we go, my friends. So let's go ahead and let's try the, ne the next one. I'm gonna roll it, blow on it for good luck, drop it, and we are going to use the two numbers. I rolled a four minus, because we know we're doing subtraction, and then I rolled the number two. So four minus two equals, that sets up our subtraction sentence. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna grab a couple of my pom-poms. I've got four pom-poms here, and it says four pom-poms minus two. So four take away two. I'm gonna take away my smallest ones and leave with my nice colorful ones right here. Four minus two equals, how many are left? One, two. Four minus two equals two. Good job, my friends. So far, so good. It's a fun activity, a fun way to make your own subtraction sentences. I really enjoy rolling the dice um, because it's kind of like you never know what you're gonna get, right? So it kind of makes it like a mysterious game almost. Let me roll it one more time, drop it on my mat, and now we have a bigger number, which means that we're gonna have a really small, small, small um, answer. I rolled the number six, the first number that I rolled. Go ahead and make my six. We are doing subtraction, so I'm gonna put my minus sign. Six minus, and it looks like we rolled the number five. So six minus five equals, now that it's set up, let me go ahead and pick out my different pom-poms. One, two, three, four, five. We need six. Remember that we always start with the big number when we're doing subtraction. We get the most on the board first, and then we take away. So let me line them up. Alrighty, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, matches my first number, and we need to take away five. So six minus five, so let's get one, two, three, 
four, and five. Get those on out of there. Six minus five leaves us with one pom-pom. So six minus five equals one. Very good, my friends. You can go on to doing a couple of activities with this, a couple of more if you'd like. We're gonna finish this off for here today. Thank you for joining us today. I had a great time doing our math lesson. Thank you guys, bye.